Let's talk about uh, another thing that's been in the news, and that's fluoride. Um, it's in, you, know, you talked about earlier about drinking city water sources. Yeah, and yeah fluoride. I'm sure every city's got that in there. You yeah. know, is that, Good for your teeth. Is that, yeah. Causes, keep, prevents cavities. Actually, see, that's a big lie that everybody believes now that fluoride. But it may be in toothpaste, but when you're when you're drinking it and ingesting it, that's oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. No, it, well, it, it's it's all under the guise of of uh, preventing cavities. That's why mm -hmm. it was initially introduced into, the, into yep. the, the water supply. But I mean, if you look at the label on a typical toothpaste, you know your Crest or your Colgate, and one of the one of the fluoridated toothpastes, it'll say if if a child ingests this yeah. this, this, this tube, call the doctor immediately because mm -hmm. it'll it can kill a child. Anyway, that same stuff that's in the in the toothpaste is the stuff that's in our water. But it go, it all goes back to Alcoa in the in the around the 1940 era. Alcoa, big aluminum manufacturer in Pittsburgh, had this toxic waste that they would scrape off their smokestacks that they were they were having to to uh, sodium fluoride. They were having to bury in toxic landfills, and so they wanted to figure out a way to make money on it. And so they hired um, uh, Trendley Dean. Yeah, Trendley Dean. H. Trendley Dean was the man's name. So they hired Trendley Dean. Uh, who was a dentist, to go uh, across 300 plus cities in South Texas and and uh, figure out if uh, there was any link between fluoride and tooth decay. And it, it turns out that, that in over 300 of those cities, there was there was absolutely no link. Uh, there was no link at all. And in in about 28 of the cities, I believe it was 28 out of 360 something cities, they found that the, that the kids had a lower incidence of uh, tooth decay. Now that's not statistically significant when you look at the whole mm -hmm. sample, but he picked those 28. Now what he didn't say is in those 28 cities there was also a higher incidence of dental fluorosis, which is when the teeth get brittle and turn yellow, but they had less tooth decay. Okay, so it's kind of a play on words. Mm. So they took this research from Trinley Dean, and Alcoa then began to, began to spin to uh, doctors and dentists nationwide and to the public through newspaper and radio that fluoride at one part per million, sodium fluoride in the water will cause you to have less cavities. Then Alcoa took it another step further and they hired uh, Edwin Bernays, who his, his best-selling book back then was called Propaganda. And it, the, the mantra, his mantra was how to, to, uh, to deceive the masses without their knowing it. That was what he was mm -hmm. good at doing, propaganda. His, ne his, his uncle, by the way, was Sigmund Freud. <laughs> so they hired Bernays to, to run this propaganda campaign nationwide for about 10 years. In the, in the, from the early 40s into to the early 1950s, just basically stating that fluoride, one part per million in your water, is good for your teeth, causes less cavities. Hmm. So after, after a decade of just saying it long enough and loud enough, it was a well-established fact that fluoride, one part per million, is good for your teeth, causes less cavities. The fact of the matter is there's never been a scientific study that shows that. Every scientific study that's ever been done on fluoride shows that it causes dental fluorosis, it causes cavities, and it also causes cancers, causes bone cancers, and, and especially in children. Mm -hmm. the, there have been many of those studies that shows, show that fluoride causes bone cancer. Um, but anyway, mid-1950s, well, it was actually the mid-1940s, some cities began to fluoridate, fluoridate the water. By the mid-1950s, most cities, most major cities around the states began to fluoridate the water. Now, 70% mm. plus of the cities in the United States and municipalities fluoridate the water with sodium fluoride or uh, hydrofluorosilicic acid, which is an, another kind of fluoride, which are both toxic, both carcinogenic, and they're both hazardous materials. And they mm. transport them to the, to the municipal, uh, municipal water supplies in hazmat trucks. Fluoride is hazardous. But then, then they drip it in your water, and it's supposed to be good for your teeth. Yeah. And the most absurd thing that I've ever seen is when they have the fluoride uh, infant bottles, you know, the little baby waters, this big, with fluoridated water, mm. giving the kid bone cancer. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's just a well-known fact that fluoride is good for your teeth. Not one scientific study has ever been shown to prove that. Mm. But, it's mm. been, it, but it's just general knowledge now. Mm -hmm. And if you question fluoride, you're a nut. Yeah. So I guess I'm a nut because I question <laughs> it because I've read the studies. But you're crazy if you read the studies nowadays. If you research on your own, you're crazy because you've got to believe what you're told on the TV. Mm -hmm. And if you don't believe what the TV says and the mainstream media says, you must be a nut because you read documents. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm a nut because I've read <laughs> studies.